James has become the all-time leading score in NBA history. And I know some of y'all can't stand it. Y'all like, Jay, 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 that I mean he the best score. Listen, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that. The only thing I'm trying to hear is this right here. Actually, y'all ain't going to hear it. Y'all just going to see it because y'all already know I'm the ultimate LeBron fan, LeBron James fan right behind Mike. I was a Mike fan too, man. But come on, man. At some point, you got to just stop, stop hating on great. Look at that, man. Fade, midi, yop. And then run down the court. I don't know why they got that thing in the ultra wide screen, man. But, hey, it is what it is, man. Hey, it says 38-388. That's a record that may never be touched again. Now, I know they said it when Kareem hit it. But, uh, you know, like I said, bro, people people are, they want to say, oh, yeah, they just out there. Hey, Jay, 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 the only reason he got it is because he played for 20 years. But, bro, being able to play at that level for 20 years, dog, he's even playing better now than he was when he was a rookie and i mean obviously he should be but he's he's scoring at a high clip this is one of his highest scoring seasons ever and it's like bro it's, it's 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 insane to see somebody at 38 years of age continue to do this with the amount of help or you know, we would say the lack of the amount of help that he have and i know somebody gonna be like well he got plenty of help and all that good stuff listen man i'm just gonna tell y'all what it is uh you know it's, it's all-time leading score bro we can't you can't it's, it's hard to just continue to just hate on that guy man it is what it is uh let's let's just celebrate him as the king is here and then we just can move on man as soon as we just realize just Stop fighting that and stop fighting the greatness. You understand? Know you might not like him, but you just look silly fighting that greatness, man. It just says, hey, the king stands alone at the top, man. And there you go right there. You have Wilt 31, 4, uh, 1, 9, Kareem 38, 3, 87, and LeBron 38, 3, 88. And, and with a few more years to come, man, it's going to be crazy, man. But, hey, listen, that ain't what we're here to talk about, man. I just had to go on my LeBron James rant real quick because people be hating on that guy, man, for some reason. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. It don't mean that he's the most efficient. I mean, he probably is one of the most efficient. It don't mean that he's got more ways to beat you than anybody. Kevin Durant probably has more ways to beat you than anybody in the league or what have you like that. And, and I also have said in the, in the past that Carmelo Anthony got more, more ways to beat you than anybody in the league. It doesn't mean that he's the most prolific scorer. It just means that, you know, he's the top scorer of all time and he's the greatest scorer of all time in that regard, man. It is what it is. But anyway, that ain't what we're here to talk about, man. So, there's been some stuff going on in the 2K community, man. Um, we're going to talk about that in one second. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below, man. Um, it helps us out tremendously. And with all that out of the way, let's just get right into it and say, Good morning out there, 2K land, man. Now, I done gone on my LeBron James rant. And, as is, and speaking of that, we got another rant. So that boy IQ can say, so I don't know if y'all know, but uh, the, the, the 2K community got catfished or what have you uh, over the last couple of days. IQ contain, he just really just dropped the whole thing. He just says, uh, yesterday, 1,300 people tuned into a Twitter space for EJ to turn into Steve Har Harvey on a game show and show 2K content, I mean, and uh, show and 2K content creators turn into detectives catching someone in their own lie. And uh, like we said, bro, this, this is one of them things, man. Uh, I think it was uh, Lady Go Brazy, is what her name is or what have you. And they were just talking about the whole thing. And it just says, apparently the DM that, that she decided to tweet yesterday was put out in an attempt to make the 2K community lit again. And it says, uh, this this is the story of that. And so right here, we got her. She's talking about something and just saying, you know, like one person that, that, that whoever did it, uh, who put it out, she sent it to him and then he put it out. And when he put it out, then, you know, he normally gets no comments and then he got seven comments and stuff like that and how she has made a 2K community lit again or what have you. And, uh, you know, it just goes on and it says the person mentioned in the video clip above uh, was Vicious. It was Vicious uh, uh, sent this DM maybe revealing who it was or what have you. And then it says the person, the person based off the follower count, given the bio, blah, blah, blah. Why you, why you now, uh, why now try to, to frame this creator so they was trying to frame some creator i guess it was stage stage uh stage be killing they tried to frame the creator and say that he was the one that was doing it and then uh you know it said this is the proof that her and vicious was friends together and then he said then he just comes and says uh she didn't want to she didn't want to say who it was in the twitter space for a thousand dollars and she's not going to just randomly dm someone and they tell and and tell them 
uh who it is blah 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 if y'all want to read this y'all welcome to it and she also wants she also wanted to accuse me of, of follow biden and some more stuff and then we get to the end please don't try to please don't try and do something like this if you see this tweet uh it's not worth it you'll burn bridges with every single content creator possible and uh ruin your reputation in the future i hope she takes this as a learning lesson and uh and that's the end of it bro i sped through that stuff y'all want to know why i sped through that man because largely when it comes to catfishing the two community we do not care so that's just, that's just how it is that's how i feel about it bro we just we, we we do not care it's uh it's one of those things where i don't know man every year in the 2k community something like that happens there's always some type of fake scandal there's always some type of this some type of that bro it it, it, it doesn't matter like it, it it's just one of those things like like people think that things are more important than what they are and then you know you want to try to do your thing and try to try to get up there and you know get people to pay i mean i don't know man i don't know if it was just a ploy to 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 do this or or, or bro I, I don't know man i don't know what that ploy was if it was a ploy to do something if it was a ploy to get to get uh to frame somebody if it was a ploy to just get the 2k community lit to be honest with y'all yeah, I mean, it just is what it is, bro. It just, it doesn't matter. It, it, it happened. It was, I, I don't know, man. It was, it was I, bro, I don't know, man. It's like one of those, I, I don't know. Like, why would, why you even do something like that? I don't, I don't know, man. I was in the Twitter space and it was like one of the, one of the most mind numbing experiences I've ever, I've, I've ever undertaken. Uh, like, I, I think I lost brain cells in that Twitter space. So, I, I mean, I, I would go in for like five seconds and leave and go in for five seconds and leave. I just couldn't take it, man, because it just wasn't, it wasn't anything happened that was, it, was, it wasn't intelligible. It wasn't, um, and it just seemed like it just wasn't like like something that, that anybody really cared about. I guess people were just bored that day and they had something to do. I was sick. So I was laid back in the chair, and then I'm just, I'm just hearing all this. Bro, you ain't missed nothing. If you missed it, you didn't miss anything, man. But hey, they got the 2K community lit for a day, is what they're saying. So hey, it is what it is. Up next, man. <laughs> but we, we, I, I don't know, man. Anything for for likes and views at this point, I guess is where we at with. Anyway, uh, up next, hey, we got my boy. We gonna go to the real news where my people is at, man. My boy, way up 3K, man. He just says, listen, 2K, can we please? get some sort of reward once we create enough bills where we don't have to <laughs> we don't have to do these quests anymore you've already taken all my money the quests feel like i am now giving away my life i ain't gonna lie about that man like that's something that definitely needs to be looked at bro like maybe they can do the quest um like sort of like just make them optional after you do them with your first player the first time and when you do your rebirth then you don't have to do that stuff no more or something like that you can just play the game or or just do what you want to you largely can uh but it's really like if you go through with your first player and do everything then what whatever you get from the quest your second player will already kind of have it but it's just crazy that you got to go through those quests because if you make any player like with the uh, accelerator if you make a player before you get accelerator then you're gonna have to go through and do accelerator on both of them i wish that not not i don't really care about doing the quest and i'll do them on all the players but i just wish that there was cross progression and that uh if you rebirth that a rebirth bill was retroactive so if i go over here and i do the thing and uh, i get like if i get accelerator on this other bill now I would just wanted to show up on my other guy. And same thing with Jim Rat and all that, man. I just wish we had some retroactiveness with that, man. But you know, it is what it is. Hey, my guy Mario Baracus, he just says, hey, did the steals on 2K23 get hot fixed back to how they all were before the patch? Uh, the answer to that is a resounding no. They didn't get hot fixed. They're not back how they were uh, before the patch. Everything is absolutely the exact same. So uh, right now, it's not changed, but yo, it is what it is. Hey, my guy, uh, Jose says, F this game, man. Check this out, bro. I don't know what's going on right here, bro. But hey, size up. He pulls with two people in his face. Yopperson. Hey, if I change it to this right here, can we see it better? I think we will be able to. Let's just change this right here, because this is just insane right here with 2K is passing off his good gameplay right now. Like, he pulls. <laughs> Ah, slightly <laughs> hey man listen bro I, I can't i can't i can't do nothing for you on that one man and then don work come back to being the ultimate troll that he is and he says i wasn't even surprised elite shot selection should have green <laughs> green <laughs> bro what are we doing? 
what are you talking about, bro? Hey, now we're the ultimate troll, man. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Then last but not least, my guy Coyote, he comes through and he just says, hey, 2K, these are some things that he would like to see them change. Right now, he's just saying, hey, get rid of Clamp Breaker. Uh, shot time and delay feature, you know, when you get the ball and then you got to wait before the guy actually wants to shoot the ball and stuff like that. I get that. Take off dunks. I don't know what he meant. Oh, so limitless take off dunks is what he's trying to say. Limitless take off dunks, Hall of Fame, uh, Hall of Fame badges, uh, boost with shooting without the bar. He want to take away the boost with shooting without the bar and then uh, making any bills and he wants to bring back. Uh, archetypes y'all let me know what y'all think about that man i mean it's not a bad list of things to, to want but at the same time i don't know i don't know if that's what we want because like i said we've had that i don't care about archetypes it really doesn't matter i think it takes away some of the creativity but i mean largely you're still kind of stuck in a in a whole pit of of what you can make anyway so you can't really make make too too much man it just says hey and get rid of like you said though those things if they did those things do you think it would make a better game clamp breaker possibly but you don't even need clamp breaker because you can hardly even clamp anybody get get clamps uh animation on anybody shot time and delay uh feature yeah that would be better limitless takeoff dunks i mean yeah that would make the game be better not gonna lie but we abuse it too so i can't get mad hall of fame badges i understand what he's saying about the hall of fame badges because they 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 normally unlike one thing they did with the hall of fame badges this time though is like the thresholds are different so like let's say if you're playing like uh you can't even get gold or hall of fame limit this range until you can get something and then really you don't even need those badges because you can just have the ability you can just have a 92 three ball and then you can shoot from behind the hash and stuff like that so you really don't need it but at the same time so it's it those are pretty balanced this year boost with the shot bar off i, I really don't care about that one i'm gonna hit either way i can y'all see me turn that bar on uh and, and making any bills like i said i'm not a big advocate of the I myself am not a big advocate of of the archetype system. I don't, I don't. I mean, it didn't really bother me. I made some of the best bills anyway. But it, it is what it is, man. Like making any bills and making them any way you want to. I don't. I don't see a big issue with that. But hey, there's a couple of things in there they probably should look at, man. But y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hey, uh, do y'all do y'all think that that whole debacle? Did y'all care about that, or did y'all feel the same way that I felt, which is we do not care. Hey, 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 I don't know, man. We do not care. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section because ultimately, it doesn't matter what you think. That's, that's ultimately what happens, man. But like the video, comment down below, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please.